Hi guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about PHP and MySQL like connection. So uh, here we will learn some uh, basic rules for a connection with the MySQL and PHP, and then uh, make a short example uh, like show data from uh, MySQL database in PHP. Okay, guys. Uh, for that, let's start. For that, we need a uh, four parameter actually. One is host name. So, it's normally we when we are learning something, we are uh, work on local host. So, if you are new, then just put it local host. Local host. Then. Uh, write username user uh, if you did not set a username on mysqli then it should be root 3 is password uh, password is uh, null uh, by default and another is database name so database name for database name, we have to check out our database name. I put here localhost PHP MyAdmin. So I have a a test database. So we can put here test. Uh, this is special for uh, testing database and examples so the four parameter we required is they are the most important then next line we can write here uh, connect variable and new my sqli so this is uh, we have a by default class my sqli that select four parameter. This is the local our uh, host name, username, then password, and then database name. So this is connected now. So we can check here, go here, and check. So we have an error. So we must have to solve this. Uh, we have an error on here. We have to put semicolon in every statement after just every statement. So now there should be no error. Yes. So <clears throat> now our database is uh, connected with PHP. So what we need now? So we need a query. So we can like right here. Command and we can just write a simple command that we used in mysqli select star from table name so what is our table name the table name is user so select here user then we have to uh, fire this query so for that uh, take a result variable and connect and fire query function within this and like write here command so this code will fire a command in our database so now what we have to do now we have to uh, fetch the data from database after the firing this command okay so for that we can use while command and dollar row variable will use for uh, catch every row from database and a result variable that store all old data and uh, we can 
uh, we have a function for fetch array for fetching database from array fetch associate uh, fetch source that means the result that come from database uh, is a format or uh, have a format of associative array so now we can print our dollar row and let's we can check now the output the output is here so uh, for separate them we can use a br tag for line break yes we have three data one is Sam, Jusendr and John and they have our unique ID 1, 2 and 3 let's compare it with the, our database as you can see here ID is 1, 2, 3 and name is also there so this is and you can see here this is uh, the format of associative array so if you don't want it, it as associative array then you can put like this echo dollar row and pass here name and check the output now you can see the three names Jitendra, Sam and John yes so they are in single line so we can put here br tag for better formatting and now these are the three names and if you want to uh, see id then put your id and see one two three and let if you want to see both id as well a name then you can put here something like that uh, name okay id is And cat here, cat here once again, and and name is a dollar row and put here name, and let's see the output. Yes, the ID is one. Okay, so make something better for better understanding. Yes, the ID is one and name is Sam. The ID is two and name is Zitendr. ID three and name is Zone. And you can compare it with the here. So, guys, uh, this is a basic tutorial about uh, how we can. Uh, fetch data from mysql and some basic rules so fine guys thanks for watching and next uh, next video tutorial we are going to learn how to insert data from mysql okay guys thanks and please subscribe our channel for more videos